Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. If you are an original, welcome back. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a little review and wear test of the new, oh, it's not new anymore, but the Airbrush Flawless Foundation um, from Charlotte Tilbury. So this is what it looks like. So if you're interested in that, then definitely stay tuned. So this foundation claims it, let's see, it stays all day and all night. A full coverage foundation with a flawless matte long lasting finish. Apply your airbrush flawless foundation blending outwards from the center of your face for a flawless air, flawless airbrush finish. Um, I don't have my iPad. Hey guys, editing Nicole here. Um, so it also states, so it says it's long lasting weightless hybrid skincare foundation. Um, Charlotte's secret to a flawless poreless looking confident complexion coverage full matte finish um norm is for normal dry and combination skin highlighted ingredients are replexium which helps to reduce the appearance of wrinkles um moss celtec number one which helps thoroughly hydrate the skin and air cool which provides an immediate immediate fresh feel on the skin um ingredient call outs it's vegan and cruelty free so it says it's sweat proof, humi humidity proof, waterproof, and transfer resistant. So yeah, that's what it states. It states. Add with me, but I'm pretty sure it claims to be like sweat proof. Um, yeah, <laughs> claims to be insane. So we're gonna go ahead and test that out today, and I'm gonna check in and do. This piece of hair is really bothering me. This is my hair fresh out of overnight French braids. <laughs> um, so I have some um, errands to run, some yard work to do. Uh, it's supposed to be in the 70s here today. So I think we'll be able to put it to, put it to the test. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply, apply my um, e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I'm just going to put that all over. And I'm just using a brush because um, I watched Tati's um, foundation video. And she said something about if you put too much on, then it doesn't do its job and to use a brush. So I feel like I put way too much primer on when I use my fingers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try it with a brush and see if I can like control myself. If you hear obnoxious noises, that is my child out there. <laughs> I'm just watching Chip and Dale. So we're gonna let that sit. Do something with that. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go, I'm gonna do one side with the beauty sponge and one side with the brush. I can already tell you, I probably won't like the brush because I don't like applying foundation with a brush. So we're gonna go ahead and dive right in. Let's shake it up. I'm trying to like, now I did order this online, so I'm pretty sure it's not my color. Yeah, it doesn't even look like my color, but we will see. So we're gonna do this side. Oh yeah, that looks a little too um, orangey for me, but hey, we'll just go with it. It's okay, right? It's just makeup, we can always just, bo oh yeah, that's way too orange. So we might have to go send this back to Sephora. Because this uh, foundation does retail for like $44. So we will see 
if I can't get it to match. Just blend it all the way down my pasty white neck. So it is, it's applying beautifully. Like that's, we'll see if, how full coverage it is. Let's see if it covers up my redness, which so far it's not doing, but we will see. Let's kind of blend this down. So I'm just going to do like, I'm literally probably just going to do foundation to mascara and that's probably about it because I'm not going anywhere today. So does this say it's full coverage? A yeah, full coverage foundation, but you can see it still has like my red spots that we're going to see if it's any more buildable. Let's see. See, I don't know why foundation it like doesn't want to stick right there. I haven't figured that out. I don't know if it's because my beauty my beauty sponge is wet or damp, but that happened before with another foundation. Mom! What? I'm gonna give you an asthma kiss. Go watch TV, Mom. Yeah, just a couple minutes. Okay. Shut the door, please. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if that's just me and I can't get it to stick there or what. Or it's just my skin. It's like, nope, nope, screw you. We're not sticking in that spot today. But it does, it blends out beautifully. I can say that. Um, so I can still see like the little spot through it. Okay, now we're gonna go to the other side with a brush. And I don't know how I'm gonna like this because I don't like applying foundation with a brush. I'm just using the Morphe M439 brush. And we're gonna go right in it. Do something with this hair. I don't even like know how to apply foundation with a brush because I never do it. So it's not too bad, like color off. I don't like using a brush because it makes me like itchy. So yeah, I can definitely still see like my spots and my red cheeks. So I wonder how full coverage, I mean, it's nice. I like it because I don't like like a full, 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 full coverage to where it just looks like you have a crap ton of makeup on. So I'm okay with this. not looking like cakey and like I have makeup on. Sorry if you guys can't. And I always have 
of travel right here on my nose trying to cover that redness up. So I do like it. I'm going to try just like a little spot with my finger on these little spots. See if you can build it up. But yeah, it's like it's it's blending together like a dream with a brush and a sponge. So this is I'm gonna try to bring you guys in a little bit. So you can see. So this is the oh I'm making a mess. The sponge side. Don't mind my like wrinkles and pores. And this is the brush side. Kind of liking the brush side better. I'm not even gonna lie. What's going on with my nose right there? I don't know. just the excess off so I'm yeah I'm liking this it's, it's got a pretty finish um so like I said now we're just gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer I'm not even using concealer because I'm um, like I said I'm not really doing anything important today <laughs> um brush 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 where's my brush just going a little bit of cont or well, this is contour, but it's okay. We'll just pretend it's bronzer. So yeah, I'm, it's loving the stuff sitting on it nicely. It's not accentuating my pores, which I really like. Let me get you guys in a little bit closer. Like, you can still see them, but it's not like, I don't know what's going on with my nose right there. But it's not accentuating them. I don't think that's the foundation. I think it's like something on my nose. I don't know what it is. But yeah, it's not accentuating them. And actually, it's actually doing like a really good job. I'm really liking this. Like, I'm really liking it so far. And then I'm going to take just a little bit of mascara. Which one do I want to use? I'll just use my e.l.f. mascara. A little bit of mascara and then a call of day. Oh my god, I am the worst at putting mascara on. Look, I already got it all over my lid. And once I'll get it all under my eyes. The worst. Does anybody else make weird faces? When they put their mascara on. I don't know why. I feel like I'm putting this lip liner on. I don't know why I can't talk. And put this on at the same time. Oh wow, I'm being real messy with this. Ow. Pretty sure I stabbed myself in the eye. Let me get a Q-tip and then clean this up some. Oh my goodness, yes, look what I did. I am a hot mess. I haven't had my coffee today. <laughs> and then we're gonna just gonna do, you know, I don't have a lip gloss, so I'm not even gonna do a lip. But that is the what I'm doing today. And then I'm gonna do um, check-ins throughout. 
Hey guys, just wanted to do a check in real quick. It is now, I think like two something, maybe three something. I don't know. Let's see what time is it. It's two thirty four. Don't mind the hot mess. Um, I apply this at I think like ten ish, and it's still looking pretty good. I don't know if you can see. Um, there's that little separations from me because I was touching my nose, but it's still looking pretty decent for now. Now I'm outside and doing some yard work, so I'll really be putting it to the test. So I'll check in again with you guys. About the day. And yeah. Hey guys, me again. It is now 4.30. Um, so it's been five and a half hours since I put this on and it's still holding up. I've been outside, power washed my driveway um, and part of the shed and it's still like holding up pretty good. I mean, it is, it, I mean, right where my glasses are, but what foundation doesn't do that? Um, from getting like splashed in the face, it's still looking good. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed so far. I mean, we're, I'm liking this. You can see all the dirt on my face from power washing. But it's like not separating where it normally does. There's a little bit of like collection around the nose, but I've been like blowing my nose and stuff. Um, but right here where I normally get collection, it's not. I mean, I'm I'm impressed. So I'll check back in a little later. That I think I rubbed off like on like this or something. So don't mind that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm impressed so far. So we'll check back in in a couple hours. So, so far, like, I'm actually, like, it, I'm really liking this. By the way, this is in shade Neutral 5. So hey, guys. This is probably going to be the final check-in. I don't know. I might do one more um, later on. But don't mind that. That's not from the foundation. I picked that. So, but, uh, so it's now almost 7 o'clock. So, that's, what, 8 hours since I put this on. And as you can see, like, that's what I've been doing all day, like, power washing my driveway. So it's still, like, holding up pretty good. I mean, there's some collecting around the nose, but, I mean, that's normal. But there's no, like, separating here where I normally separate. There's no separating or gathering in my, like, smile lines. Um, so, like, I'm really impressed with this. Like, I'm really impressed with this. Um... This is, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be returning it. So, yeah. If you can spare the $44, then I suggest you get this foundation. Because it's prettybomb.com. Um, as you can see, like, I'll even get you in closer. Normally, I get, like, it's all separated here. It's all separated here. Here. I mean, yeah, you can see some of my, like, lines and stuff. But that's normal. All right, so yeah, I'm very impressed. Oh no, I'm getting a pimple. I'm getting some pimples. Very, very, very impressed with this. So yeah, might do one more check-in. I haven't decided yet, but if I do, then you'll see it. <laughs> but yeah. So if you're looking for a good foundation, like so far, I'm really liking this. I like the way it blended out. I like how it's, right now it's not accentuating my pores. Um, but we will see throughout the day. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Hey guys, so this is going to be the last and final check-in, promise. So it is now nine o'clock and I've had this foundation on for 11 hours. That's the longest I've ever had foundation on. <laughs> So, from far away, it's still, besides that, I picked that. That wasn't from the foundation. Um, so, from far away, it still looks pretty damn good. Like, pretty, pretty damn good. Um, up close, you can see, it. I'll show you guys in a minute. But you can see it's still kind of collected, kind of in the nose. Um, it wore off around the, my nose right here, but that, I was like scratching and stuff. Um, but it survived like pretty damn well from like water splashing my face, dirt splashing my face, sweat. 
Like I'm pretty, pretty shocked. So yeah, it's, I mean, you can see it's like, let me pull you guys clips. Don't mind all my dirty stuff. See, it's a, and kind of separated a little bit. But I've been wiping my nose there. That's from my glasses. But it's not separate. I separated up here. And I was sweating today. And had water splashing everywhere. It's kind of separate. Ooh, where's that? That's a new one. It kind of separated down here. But, like, I was going like this all day. So, can't really... But yeah, I'm still, I'm, I'm pretty impressed by this foundation. This foundation is, it's good. So like I said in the previous video, if you can afford $44 and need a good foundation, I highly, highly suggest this uh, Airbrush Flawless Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. This is a big old thumbs up to this foundation. So that is the end. I'm going to bed. I have a long day tomorrow, so good night, everybody.